This is new video of a local fisherman rescuing a local bird tangled in a fishing line. And this is a problem that many see on our waterways, trash creating trouble for wildlife. New at 530 Action News Jack's Beth Rousseau shares his message to others spending time on the water. Edward Smith says that it's bad enough when he finds trash along the shore like this. He tells me what's even more upsetting is when he finds it floating in the water. This is how Edward Smith found a seagull in the St. John's River, tangled in old fishing line. At first, I thought possibly a predator had him, and I, but after 10, 15 minutes of nothing going on but him struggling, I knew something had to be going on. Smith tells me he paddled out in his kayak and immediately noticed the line wrapped around its body. Trying to take off, uh, he'd get maybe six inches off the water and then just right back down to the water. He couldn't go anywhere. He brought the bird back to shore and cut it free, documenting the entire effort. He took off in the water, then came back on the beach. He eventually did fly off. It just took him a little bit to regain his strength. He says the situation makes him wonder how often animals are injured by trash left floating in the ocean. I mean, where I found the bird out here, there's dumpsters down at the end of the road here. You could have taken everything down there and not just throw it in the water. FWC has 1,000 recycle bins specifically for fishing lines across the state. Smith says just a little added attention could save an animal's life. I know nature is supposed to take its course, but that's not nature. That's human ignorance. Smith tells me that he's hoping to get a group of people together to clear up some of this trash in the near future. Reporting off Hexer Drive, Beth Russo, CBS 47, Action News Jax. Action News Jax is digging into the dangers of fishing line. The FWC says some newer types of fishing line can't be recycled the way that monofilament line can, but there are some steps you can take to reduce the risk of putting wildlife in danger. Check your line frequently for frays that could break easily. Also, don't leave your bait unattended since that it could attract the birds that then get tangled up. And also, if your fishing line is not recyclable, cut the line into 12-inch or smaller pieces and place it in a covered trash can.